It is the event you've been waiting for. I just know it. The International <laughs> Musical Saw Festival. Yeah, it takes place this weekend in Santa Cruz at NBC Love's Bob Riddell with a few of the performers getting ready, getting all tuned up, Bob. Hey, guys, this is what happens when you send a musician to Home Depot. <laughs> 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 you got Jude Rossini on the right there on the guitar and vocals and Morgan Cowan on the musical saw. I'm sure you've probably seen these before. They are real saws that people play. And uh, just like this, we talked them. Cut. That was good. Very Great. nice. What song were you guys uh, playing? King of the Road. Hey, King of the Road. Yeah. And, uh, you guys got the International Saw Fest, uh, Musical Saw Fest going on this weekend. Yep. It's the International Musical Saw Association puts on or produces the International Musical Saw Association's nice. Saw Festival in Santa Cruz. You, you know, I think a lot of people who haven't seen these didn't know you could play a saw. How do you play a saw? What are you doing? What's oh. different than, let's say, playing the violin? Uh, different than violin. Well, violin's got open strings. Well, so yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I mean, but it's so far. It's okay, you have a reference. My ear. Well, how do you, okay, and what do you find your reference? Uh, in my head, yeah. Because if you can think of where a note is, then you can place it at that point. But just bending it higher, it just goes up. I mean, bending it more, it goes up higher. Bending it less, goes lower. But you have to have a little S shape here. So if you see a cute girl walking down the street, what do you do? I go. Oh, very nice. There. And just in case something happens, not that it would ever happen on this show, but we got band-aids ready to go, Lori. Morgan Cowan and Saw Players. I do play occasionally just me and the saw, mm -hmm. but mostly I play at jams uh, around the San Francisco Bay Area. I live in San Rafael, which is north of San Francisco, about 12 miles. And I go all over the Bay Area, actually, to, uh, to play music with other people. And that's how I really improved. I played for like 30 years without really playing with very many people, just a couple of friends. And since I started playing regularly, I go to about three jams a weekend now. They're mostly potluck jams, meaning that everybody that comes contributes something to the food, uh -huh. <laughs> and they hopefully will contribute musically as well. I've got my, I've developed a uh, kind of a, my interpretation of um, a saw stand. Most people play sitting down, as I said. That's cool. But, I mean, uh, the bottom is a different kind of. Um 
base, does that come with, with or anything uh, else? Just yes, it's a bongo stand. Oh, bongo stand. Uh -huh. I've manipulated these two L's that they use that set the bongo on, uh -huh. and then you can move the L's closer or farther away, and um, that's how it tightens it into a bongo stand. I like that. It's a nice setup you have there. It works. It works yeah, really well. I like tools, too. Yeah, and, and uh, the C-clamps just yeah. hold the handle of the saw against the, the L-shaped bracket there. Oh, very good.